Is your mind churning over just about everything? Anxiety can cause you to do so many different things without you realizing it, and these coping mechanisms might end up being worse and worse for your physical and mental health. So if you find some of the involuntary behaviors from anxiety becoming self-destructive and harming your mental health, here are some things to look out for. Number one, constant scrolling. Do you endlessly scroll through TikTok, Reddit, and Instagram reels to escape your anxious thoughts? You're not alone. However, social media addiction has been linked to anxiety and other mental health issues, according to a University of Tennessee study. Excessive social media can lead to reduced productivity, unhealthy sleep, and worsened mental health. According to a 2018 Penn State University study, replacing anxious social media use with healthier habits like journaling can break this cycle and alleviate symptoms of depression and anxiety. We understand how easy it can be to get caught up in mindless scrolling, but if you ever feel like it's taking a toll on your mental health, maybe consider picking up a pen instead. Prioritizing your mental well-being is so important, and taking small steps like this can really make a difference. Number two, people-pleasing. People-pleasing can be draining. Even though it might be an unconscious habit, it can destroy your mental health by causing you to put others before yourself. According to psychology counselor, Matt Smith, while people-pleasing provides people with a way to hide their feelings of inadequacy and anxiety from others, it can also contribute to worry and panic in their lives. This may mean doing everything you can to keep others happy, including but not limited to working longer hours, always meeting others' expectations, and doing what others ask you to do, regardless of whether you want to or not. Psychologist Matt Smith also states that people-pleasing can cause you to bottle up your pain from others and prevent you from communicating your anxiety to others like pretending that everything's going all right even when it's not. No one should struggle through these feelings alone, which is why this habit is so important to break. Number three, self-isolation. Were you ever so overwhelmed you wanted to run and hide during a social interaction? Has this feeling ever stuck to you for days or even weeks on end? When you're feeling anxious, sometimes all you wanna do is hide from others. According to clinical psychologist, Susan O'Grady, PhD, it's instinctive even protective, to dodge what we are aversive to. In the case of anxiety, isolation to avoid social situations is a natural habit in response to fear. People with social anxiety might withdraw to avoid any circumstance that evokes their fight or flight response, even though the situations they avoid are the very thing that can help them overcome their fears. While self and social isolation may come across as comforting to some, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention shows that it can lead to further perceived loneliness and increase the risk of depression and substance abuse. Remember that humans are social beings and socializing with others can sometimes be a necessity for your well-being. Number four, avoidant procrastination. Procrastination can go hand in hand with anxiety. The feeling of putting off something for later might be a familiar feeling for some, especially when you're anxious. For example, doing work or studying or even asking a crush out might be things that seem best suited for any time other than the now. A study on academic procrastination in students by researchers at D.Y. Patel School of Physiotherapy found a positive correlation between test anxiety and procrastination. The stresses of doing some tasks might make you begin to ruminate, making it difficult to start the work. Procrastination can make your anxiety even worse, especially when there's a deadline to meet. One thing that might help, according to Dr. Itamar Schatz, is allowing yourself to start with small steps. For example, writing one or two sentences or exercising for two minutes while allowing yourself to stop after those steps is a good way to reduce the pressure of getting started. In the end, it's always helpful to make sure you're well rested and that you're prioritizing your needs. So make sure you're taking care of yourself. Do you ever do these things? Anxiety can cause you to form habits that are detrimental to your well-being. To address some of these habits, it may be helpful to identify important underlying causes within yourself before taking the next step. Your habits should not define and take control of your wellness. Please keep in mind that if you find some of these habits out of your control, we recommend you seek out advice from a professional. Thanks for watching.